Hey Leos, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this reading is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Leo and Aquarius on Fridays. Also, for those of you guys who are interested, the deck that I'm using today is called the Wisdom Seekers Tarot. And as always, if you guys are interested in getting a personal reading, the link is in the description below. Now, just as a heads up, I do see when the cards flip over in the deck. However, usually I don't take them unless they jump out like these ones have. Let me just reach down and grab the one that fell. But I usually pull eight cards. And now that we have your eight cards, we can get started on your reading. But I do want to take a moment to remind you guys that if you enjoy the reading, the best way for me to know is by leaving a like or a comment. I really like reading your comments, uh, especially when the readings resonate with you guys. But like I was saying, your overall energy here is the chariot, right? So the chariot to me talks about some kind of movement and I don't know why I'm getting emotional movement in particular. So I think that a lot of you guys are dealing with a lot of sort of mental and emotional things as of late. And I feel like that for a lot of you, you might be feeling stagnant or like these things have overstayed their welcome almost. Like these, I'm getting the word issues, but it's not exactly an issue. I'm getting there might be like a problem of you guys facing whatever this situation is in sort of an antagonistic way. So it might be a little bit more beneficial for you to actually try to work with the forces that be instead of um, sort of against them, if that makes sense. Sort of go into it with the mentality of, you know, this is happening for me, not to me, if that makes sense. And I feel like once you sort of make some small um, perspective adjustments, you're gonna see this chariot card and you're gonna see a lot of fast progression and a lot of fast movement. And I'm getting like, it's movement away from whatever the situation is. I feel like a lot of you guys might be, like just take it as a lesson and take it in stride. But I'm getting it for a lot of you guys, you're actually physically moving away because the chariot sometimes can talk about moving away. And I feel like you guys might be moving away to sort of settle down in a different place or, you know, move to a different location to sort of set some roots there because the chariot card is the card of Pisces. Or sorry, my bad, it's a card of Cancer, but some of you might be dealing with a Pisces. That just kind of like slipped out. Also, there's the Queen of Cups, which symbolizes water signs such as Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So I feel like a lot of you guys might be dealing with somebody who has a lot of that Piscean energy. But uh, wh where I was going with this is that you guys might be moving away to a different state for some of you or a different country or even like a different part of the country in order to, you know, live there. But I do want to point out here that you have the Strength card. And that's a positive for a couple different reasons. First of all, uh, the strength card is the card of Leo, right? So you guys being Leo, I feel like you guys are very much in your power right now. And I think, I think that beyond just like being strong, like in an emotional or mental way, because I feel like you guys have to be strong to sort of deal with all the stressors over here, but I feel that you guys are very attractive right now. Um, part of the, uh, like one of the aspects of sort of that Leo energy is that flair for dramatics or flamboyance. And I feel like you guys are not afraid to sort of stand out in the crowd right now. Uh, you're not really terribly conforming right now. And I feel like that's as a result helping you sort of attract people and I feel like yes there are some romantic suitors that you might be attracting in with this energy but I feel like you're also attracting people in uh sort of like the career field or just friendships in general because 
you know, you have sort of that energy that really wants to draw people in and that's going to create a lot of connections for you. And I feel like there is a big focus here on the emotional because you have this sort of watery energy over here and then you have Queen of Cups and the Prince of Cups, which to me are very sort of like emotional energies and talk about love a lot. And then it almost looks like there is like a river here um, in, in the Strength card. Even though it's different, it looks like leaves, but there's sort of this like watery energy uh, sort of as like a through line. So I feel like you guys right now are really mastering your emotions. Uh, I feel like you're looking at the people around you and they're sort of controlled by their emotions and being a little bit more on the irrational side. I feel like a lot of people around you and maybe even you have had sort of that tendency to be very explosive with anger and sort of like only see red. But like with this Queen of Cups, I'm getting that there's this huge control over your emotions and sort of taming the lion within you. And I feel like that's amazing and it's powerful energy. And that's leading to a lot of huge advancements here because the Prince of Cups here is a message of emotion. I don't know why I'm getting that for some of you, you may be receiving a message from an ex because the Prince of Cups or the Page of Cups is usually, well, okay. This is actually the, the Knight of Cups in the other tarot, but it's called the Prince of Cups in this one. But like I was saying, that to me is a message of emotion. And to me, oftentimes those can be apologies or uh, proposals of love and like, or maybe not like a proposal, like a for marriage, but like commitment or like, I want to date you or I like you or anything as simple as that, or like just any kind of emotional message. So I'm getting that for a lot of you guys, there's going to be an apology here from an ex or maybe somebody who's like, Hey, uh, let's work things out. I miss you this, that, or the other. I'm also getting a mother figure for some of you. You might be receiving a message from your mother saying, hey, I care about you, um, something like that. But like, whatever it is, you're gonna come out on top. I feel like for some of you, these people have done you harm and you know, sort of hearing them apologize kind of strokes your ego a little bit, but at the same time, it gives you this victory energy. And I feel like for other, of you you're in a situation where you wanted to get back together uh with somebody or like you wanted to reconcile uh not necessarily with like an ex but like a family member it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic in that regard but i'm getting that you're seeing the success right so what you're putting your mind to is you're seeing the success and like there's very there's like this half of the reading and then there's this half of the reading right so Ten of Swords isn't the greatest card to have. Ten of Swords is betrayal and backstabbing. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is a good card to have, but you have it in the reverse. So I feel like there is a lot of this painful energy, right? And when I mentioned the Mother earlier, I hadn't even looked at this Ten of Pentacles, but the Ten of Pentacles uh, is a happy f uh, home, happy family kind of a card. And the fact that it's in reverse leads me to believe that there has been some arguing uh, some betrayal again here with the Ten of Swords. I'm getting money for a lot of you. I feel like some of you guys may have gotten into some money situation with your family and there was sort of this let's help each other out and then it didn't quite work out that way and now everyone's mad at each other. But like you're just trying to figure stuff out. With this Two of Pentacles you just want to put all this behind you and move forward and I like commend you for that and I feel like you're gonna see that because you have the six of wands I feel like a lot of you guys if you haven't moved physically have just walked away from a situation and left them sort of high and dry because they kind of were asking for it almost even if you didn't like do it in a mo and like high and dry or leave them out in the cold or anything like that I feel like you walked away from a situation where you've had enough and you said enough is enough with this strength card and instead of letting your temper flare up and get the better of you, you were in this very mature Queen of Cups energy and that's very con commendable. And I see that because you have this Five of Swords and the Five of Swords is petty conflict and petty arguments, but because it's in reverse, I feel like you guys were really mature about it and you were really navigating this conflict, uh, sort of walking around the minefields in 
almost an expert kind of way. And I feel like that's really paying off for you guys and you're gonna see this victory. So all in all, like your personal relationships are gonna improve, which I feel like is very good news for you guys. And hopefully that'll allow you to sigh in relief. But that was your reading first time around, Leo. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new Leo videos on Fridays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.